everyone, I hope you're well. A few weeks ago, I had the absolute pleasure of discovering Antigua for the first time, which is a small, beautiful island in the Caribbean. Often Caribbean islands are stereotypical as just holiday destinations where you stay in all-inclusive resorts and just enjoy the warm weather. I'm always very keen to explore beyond this and was thrilled that Antigua has so many awesome things that you can do. So with the help of the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Board and Traverse Events, here are the best things to do on the Caribbean island of Antigua. So why not start off in the crystal clear blue waters that surround the island? In the northeast, you have a surreal place called Stingray City. You learn how to safely swim with these magnificent creatures and then quite simply hop off a boat in the water straight with so many stingrays. They're incredibly smooth but incredibly slimy and are certainly not shy of saying hello. With your snorkel on, you can swim alongside the stingrays, watch them glide right in front of you, underneath you, pretty much anywhere they fancy. You literally just join in their playground. Or, for a more exhilarating way to explore the waters, you can hop onto a reef rider, which is essentially like a jet ski. It's got these two massive inflatable things on the side, and I guess that's so we don't fall off, and this is what it looks like. This was one of my favourite activities of our trip. You cruise seven miles along the pristine waters of the Caribbean before arriving at Cades Reef for a spot of snorkelling. This is actually the biggest and the best reef in the whole of Antigua, so very excited to go and hop in and see what's down under. It was some of the clearest waters I've ever swum in. Gorgeous warm temperatures, lots of fish and so much coral to navigate through. There aren't many feelings like being a few metres deep in the Caribbean, swimming free, living your best life. We're now back in the Reef Rider and we're going to be heading back towards where we came from essentially. highlight of my trip of course again involving the water was participating in aqua physical it's like pilates on stand-up paddle balls which are anchored to the the, the water so we're not going to float off well at least we don't think we're going to float off that's actually really difficult to stand on so you really need to focus on your core to stay engaged so you keep your balance while completing the exercises it was actually hilarious, such a fun way to get your body moving and not just be a hungover beach potato following the many nights of rum which are inevitable. And speaking of rum, a great indoor thing to do in Antigua, maybe on a day when those tropical storms are having a moment, you can do a cooking class with rum. Because why not get a little tipsy on the nation's favourite drink while learning to cook the finest dishes on the island? What I really loved about Antigua is that no matter where you went, you were never short of Caribbean vibes. In particular, Shirley Heights on a Sunday evening. We just spent the evening at Shirley Heights. The sunset was beautiful. So it seems like this is like the place to come. If you Google Antigua views, you'll see your photo. This is pretty much where this place is. And in the daytime, you have to wander around the capital city of St. John's. My first impressions of St. John's and just walking around is just how colourful it is. All the buildings are absolutely beautiful. I love the music that's pumping out of quite a lot of the stores. It's got such a gorgeous Caribbean vibe, which I feel like I'm not used to. We actually went to a festival called Reggae in the Park during our week, which was so much fun for something very different that you might not be used to at home and getting a great sense of the relaxed party culture they have here. Again, mixed with a lot of rum, of course. You can also do epic treetop zip lining in the daytime, as well as a countless number of hikes around the island to take in the scenery at a slower pace. But other than that, Antigua is about maxing relaxing. It's a slower pace of life out there. 
you'll probably end up doing things you never really thought you were the type of person to do, like yoga, or sing in a choir. I've never done choir in my life. situations where you're just like, how did we get here? <laughs> um, what are we doing? Enjoy the warmth, enjoy the crystal clear blue waters, enjoy the early afternoon cocktails and you're gonna have a smashing holiday in Antigua. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.